The following is a presentation of Bar Vision Productions. I've heard so much about the food here at Barbican Beach. But I know at East King's House Road in Kingston, there's no beach. So I've come to find out what's cooking here at Barbican Beach. Hey, they've got sun. Well, that's the reason why it's called Barbican Beach. Well, what do you know? Barbican Beach in the middle of Kingston, right here, real sun. So on a good day, you can see everybody playing right here or sitting at the bar. Always hear about the food here at Barbican Beach, but you know, the first stop is always a bar. Hey, how are you doing? Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. Tell me a little bit about Barbican Beach. Well, Barbican Beach is like um, a family place. Mm -hmm. Friends, family, you can bring your kids. Um, and the food that we have is for everybody, special to our fish. Well, the food, tell me what you serve here. Okay, we serve jerk pork, wings with fries, fried breadfruit, um, conch, soup, and drinks. And I hear you do a good, good fish. Yes, we do. What have you heard so far? I hear the fish wicked. <laughs> yes, we have fried fish and steamed fish. For me, I prefer the steamed fish, but a lot of people love both. All right. Well, I'm going to try any one of them the chef fixing around here. And our pork is good as well. Okay, I'll leave that out then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am going over there to see what the chef has. We'll check out fish, pork, anything on the grill. Come with me. Chef Cos, how you do? Everything all right? Yes, I'll come check you out here, say so you have some nice fish. Yes, I'm going to choose my fish then, all yes, right? Yes. Now, we have some, what is it, some snapper? Yes. And what is blue one here? Blue snapper. Blue snapper. And red, yeah. and red snapper. Ah, all right. You know what? I like this little baby here. Remember? You like that? Yeah. We could, right. go, we could work this. All, all right. right. Well, okay. So, we're going to go through the motion and see how we get this ready. All right. All right. Like over here now, we have the seasoning them too. Mm -hmm. See, so you have some onion, garlic, peppers, carrots, them kind of things. Okras. Okras, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes, scallions. Right. Scallion. Okay. Yeah. So, we could start cook then, Chef. Yeah. Now, Chef, with the steam fish, how you work the steam fish? Well, we put a little carrot, a little okra, mm -hmm. and we have our tomatoes, mm -hmm. and we have our onion, garlic, sweet peppers, mm -hmm. and then we have um, we, we cooking butter over here. Right. And I'll add a little ketchup, a little, a little ketchup to it, and then I put a little bit of oil, and then I put um, the coconut milk in it, and put all of the seasoning well, together. What is the secret ingredient? The secret ingredients? Yeah, man. Should I give you that secret ingredient? <laughs> <laughs> I always try to get the secret ingredient. I can never get it enough. But you want to try to trick a man. I should have given the secret ingredient. All right. Just well, out like that. Hold on, pal. It. Okay? Yes, yes. I'm holding right. on. I'm but, holding on. But we're going to. So, do all of this and get yeah. ready and put that in the pot, in right? The pot, yeah. Okay, and then good. We start out, yeah. Good. You have ketchup and coconut milk. Any special reason why you use that? Yes. To give the fish, the steam fish, mm -hmm. a nice flavor okay. and a nice taste. Mm -hmm. Well, people like coconut milk is nice in steam fish. Okay. You use no. coconut milk and steam up top and do you make use, it. Do you use a fresh squeeze or you use the one in the I can? I use the one in the can. Use the one in the yes. can? Yes, yes. Okay, all right. Great, great, great. And okra again is another. Flavor to, flavor to the steam fish because if okra don't into a steam fish that means that, that is not that a steam is not fish. A steam fish. Right. So right. we we'll have our vegetables in it mm -hmm. and we're pumpkin. Mm -hmm. We give it a nice pretty colours with the pumpkin. Right. And when you okay. steam it up and everything you can get you we get the all the vegetables that you need. Ah. Like the carrots, the okra, the pumpkin mm -hmm. and the rest are seasoning like um sweet peppers, tomatoes, garlic. You know, mm -hmm. scallion, right. thyme, okay. you know, mm -hmm. and sort out the thing. 
real proper how you like it. All right. Straight. So how long you been cooking now, Chef Cos? Well, I've been cooking about, uh, call it two years now. Two years? Yeah. And where you get your this, this skills from? I get it from a Cuban. A Cuban? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> you go Cuba or the Cuban no, was Cuba here? No, Cuban was here. Okay. I was working with him. All right. Yeah. Good. We're going to take a short break here on My Little Food Spot. Chef, yeah. apart from the chicken, fish, pork, what else do you do at Barbican Beach? Well, at Barbican Beach, we do um, jerk chicken, we do wings and fries, we do lobster, we do skunk, mm -hmm. we do, we do um, soup and we do burger. Okay, all right. So quite a different variety of yes, stuff. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes. Good. Now cut off the top mm -hmm. and square it. All right. So cutting up some more okras and this going to go in. Yes. Also the coconut milk. Right. And the rest are in. the butter and all the other ingredients. Yes. All right. Like our tomato, tomato. sweet peppers. Okay. Cut some tomatoes. Get them nice. This is hard work, man. Well, the hard work fit you, your hard work fit you. Hard work fit me? Yes, yes. All right. I, know, I, I know this is going to taste good. But like you soon get my work to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chef, you don't care how I cook all like right, you. All right. All right. Yeah. But I try a thing. Right. All right. Now, we're going to give you a little piece of our Skellion. Skellion. Yeah. That looks like and some fresh skellion though. Some fresh, fresh St. Skellion. Andrew skellion. St. Andrew skellion. Right. These. Mm -hmm. So yeah. cut off the top of it, make you rinse it off. Rinse and over off. here now, this is the next flavor to make a steamed fish taste proper. Mm -hmm. This is a nice flavor, thyme. Sometime. Yes. Okay. So we're going to wash it off and then you just give it a little cut where you don't want half it. Okay. Yeah, and now, after we do that now, we're going to give you some onion in it. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're going to strip the onion. That looks like your job. All right, all yes. right, all right. <laughs> we're going to strip the onion like pro. this. Yes. We're going to strip the onion like this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Forget it. can deal with the thing. So, also, chef, and you said them play football and them kind of thing. So well, the sports here are very nice. When you finish, sometimes you go kick a ball to them. Well, my my sports is to play some domino. Domino, yeah. okay. Drop a so six dub and then. All right. All right. Are you are you cut this up? Do it or you make it in big chunks? Just do. Are you a cook this the one here? Oh, so okay. Oh, you me plus, like it. Yeah. All cut right. it away. Oh, you like it. Now All we right. have our garlic over here now. Mm -hmm. We have our garlic over here. Okay. So we do garlic like this. Crush it and then mm -hmm. just. Slice them up. Right. Ah, right. And then you're right. That is the flavor, you know? Right. Get the flavor right Right, here. right, right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Said we. Actually cooking today. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's that's it now. That's all the ingredients. Alright, so okay. we're gonna take our fish now. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna wash off our fish first. Good. Although we wash it already, but right. we're gonna wash we it again. Wash. Okay. While Chef wash the fish, let me tell you, I can smell the pork on the grill and there's another grill going with some chicken which is a bit delicious chef wash the fish okay mm -hmm. so our, our fish now to put in the pot now we want it to have in the season right through right. we're going to give it a little cut like this for it yeah okay. just a little mm -hmm. and then you give it a little side. Uh, on the okay. both side All right. and then you know, we are ready to put in our fish right okay so we're going to line out our fish like this okay okay mm -hmm. now we're going to give it a little bit of garlic sauce on it okay, okay? Mm -hmm. i mean having wallipa stuff in it all right some so, garlic powder all right Okay. So you give it a little like that. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna give it most people don't like black pepper. Mm -hmm. So if you like black pepper, you can tell we the can chef. Go that the you can't go without or you can't right. go with the black pepper. Now we have our chiffon um 
stick butter over here so we can go a little time like this and put piece of the butter in the fish all okay. right yeah. All right. Okay. About a half an inch then, of butter. All right. Mm -hmm. And then we put another little put piece another half on, on the, the fish. Okay. okay. Good. Because you don't want too much oil, oil right. in your thing. You want right. your thing to steam down properly. Now, we have some coconut milk over here. Mm -hmm. We're going to boil. Okay. We're going to use the Jamaican style. Jamaican style and boil. Boy, chef. Another job for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. And it's my job. Yeah. It's my job. So we're going to boil it like this. Good job, chef. So, uh, pour a little, a little bit on it. Mm -hmm. You have to just know the amount to give it. Just kind of coat it. All right. right. And nice then, coat with a little bit. And then, we we'll put a little bit, a little bit of ketchup on it. A little bit. And the fish. Because we're going to make it have a pretty color. I still think it's a secret ingredient that you're hiding no. from me in a chef. No, man. That, that is not it. That is not it. I'll know okay. me don't tell you it yet. All right. Okay. So, might be if you help out in the kitchen, you might hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna peel a piece of pumpkin now. Right? Mm -hmm. To put and we're gonna um, shred it to put it on the fish. Okay. It have that nice pretty that flavor. That will bring out the nice flavour and the oh, colour. Okay, alright. Alright. See? So a lot of fresh vegetables, a lot of seasoning, the flavors that's gonna come out when the steam brings all this out in the special fish here at Barbican Beach. Doing a red snapper. Okay, we're gonna put our pumpkin on the table like this and peel it because you don't put pumpkin in your hand and peel it, it might slip off and cut okay. you. Okay. Okay, so you have a thing tip. like this. <music> we just have a piece of pumpkin add to the fish the and we we'll shred it like this. That means we don't eat in a big piece of pumpkin. You know pumpkin where you eat it, little and Yeah. yeah now okay. chef, I've never seen pumpkin done with a steam fish like that. And I know that is the sweet little fruit that I'm not telling us about. Yeah, that man. is not still it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Alright, that would good now, mm -hmm. innit? So so you have a little bit of the pumpkin and stuff in the inside. belly. Okay. Yeah. Have a little piece of the pumpkin and, and you put, it, put all it all over. It. over. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, now, we're going to have our seasoning them now. Okay. But we we'll add to it. Here's our so seasoning. We just take all, with, everything. With our okra, tomato, yeah. pepper, everything. And that goes right on top. Yeah. Okay. Great. Right. So this fish now, is covered with a just whole a bunch bit of fresh, just a bit fresh of vegetables. That's a happy fish. All right. And just you know, a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. Add to it. Okay. Now, you get a little plate and put a little bit of water on it. Now, this is my little fish. Well, it it's going to be yearns when it's done. Yeah. Cook. Right. All right. Good. So we ready to mix that up. And that's ready for the fire. Right. So we're going to put a little fire now and eat our pot. So, how you time, how you time your steam fish now, if you say, yeah, it cooked mm -hmm. now, I think. Right, tell how me much how. minute oh. are you chow? No, you tell me. You're oh, you the chef. You tell, you tell me how you know. Yes. <laughs> oh, through you in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah I know. That's no, no, no. I, 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 all right. I have a healthy dinner. All right. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give it about, say, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. You know? Uh, right. 12 minutes, though. And everything we just leave it. Right. We don't we just, turn it or anything. Just no, leave it. No, thing we do, when time it's steaming and mm -hmm. you don't want it to itch in the pot bottom, okay. we come and walk the pot like this and we and give the pot a little spin like this. It's a spin. Yeah, we okay. don't use nothing and turn it and mash up the fish. We just okay. spin it like this. All right. Yeah? And okay. everything we all right and proper with okay. it. Okay, good. So. While we're getting the fish ready, there's some jerk pork on the grill. We're going to check it and see if it's ready. So chef, you're doing this now on a sweet wood here, yeah. right? And this is a slow smoking process that gives that a special yeah. flavor. All right. All right. Okay. So we check. Oh boy, chef, this is soft and tender already, man. Look like them ready, look like them ready, chef. Oh, yes. All right. 
I'll make that seem a little bit more I would and, and we'll come back to it to check the fish. Yes. And to turn on the fire well lower. Right. That means the fish wouldn't mash up or anything. Okay, now and that's, that's your little and, star. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to taste the fish if it have any flavor or like a Okay. And now you see I don't touch the fish. Right. Okay. That just goes around. So watch it now. Catch a lick of taste, taste of the like flavor. This. See how the flavor go. Yeah. All right. Okay, I want a little bit more a little salt. more salt. I agree with that, chef. <clears throat> this amount of salt with mm -hmm. all right in it. Okay. That will bring up back. Get it right up to taste. Mm -hmm. And you see that special color from the pumpkin now. Right. Right throughout the whole see, you dish. You don't see the ketchup or the uh, Right. You no. see the color of the pumpkin. Okay. Right. Okay. And the vegetables the are vegetable just it. crispy and right. looking good. So All we're right. going to put it in the plate now. Mm hmm. We plate that up, and when we come back, I'll be eating my fish here at Barbican Beach. We're here at Barbican Beach where this thing was started by a group of friends and we have Trixie, one of the original people who started. Trixie, how are you doing? So far so good. I, tell me the story about Barbican Beach, how the whole thing began. Well, bigger. Barbican Beach, the concept came by Donald Leo mm -hmm. and David Shirley. What happened, they used to have the beach football out by Helsha. You okay. know, Brazil is a good, big fan of the beach, beach football. football. So right. we Jamaican, you know, took it up and we started playing it. But the thing is, you had to go to Helsha to go train, play football. Mm -hmm. So Donald and, and David decided would build a beach football, beach football. inside. So you truck in the sand, truck in inside the sand. a Kingston <laughs> and make a nice football field. Exactly. Beach football. Exactly. All so right. We know gravitated to here okay where we start training everybody want to feel what the sound felt like okay. so we start having some football here then we had the volleyball girls coming mm -hmm. they came a part of it they're my friends you know anywhere girls are and football you know man start hanging around right and right we're here and we started having a little drink every now and again and it was all good mm -hmm. and after playing a couple of games and things they said Trixie we need to have something to eat and food. yeah food uh, is an essential part right. the drink alone won't kick no. it so it's all right so they said all right next week let's do let's do a pot of soup that we have something so I said okay not a problem so I did a pot of soup mm -hmm. coming oh. up after I did a pot of soup mm -hmm. Enjoy. the next Thank week you. they said mm -hmm. Trixie Soup alone will make it. Mm -hmm. So let's try some fish. Just buy it. it was six of us. So okay. we bought six fish. And uh, we'll go inside the kitchen. At least they put me inside the and kitchen. Put you inside the so kitchen. I said, I really don't know how to cook, but let's try a thing. Because, you know, it's bridging and bridging. So the food never tastes good, we could have get by with it. I'm going to try this fish. Well, you try me this and one. Chef Cos fix this one, yeah? And let me tell you, a lot of love go inside of this fish. So you going to see where it's coming going, from? We're going to test this little fish. Huh? Mm, this fish is lovely. Delicious, nice. I taste the pumpkin, all the herb spice coming out. Really delicious. And you see the okra? That just make it nice. I just hope the chef just didn't give you really like a secret recipe. Well, you know, I get the coconut milk, I get the ketchup, and I get some of the special like seasoning. So I think I kind of figure I almost it out. There. Mm. But he didn't give you the secret, secret, secret um, um, recipe to it. Though. I didn't get the secret, secret. No. All right. But I'm going to tell you, mm -hmm. is the sun. The sun? Yeah. Oh. We, we the brought it all like the Elisha <laughs> style. So okay. I like the sun blowing it. Like the so, sun blowing yeah. in and nice it up. Yeah, with the, oh, the, okay. the salt and <laughs> That's the secret recipe. It's about yeah. the sun. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And you know what? This breadfruit looks nice and mellow, you know. I should test it. Mm. Nice and, and smoky and, and, and that was from St. Andrew, you know. Yeah, man. Van Downtown? Van. Yes, as you have to go down to the market, make mm. sure we get some nice fresh bread soup and some vegetables. Because, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the rule is now, grow, um, what you grow, eat what eat, you grow. Eat what you grow. Yeah, so mm. we try to make sure we support our local farmers, make sure we have something going for them. So we don't have a problem supporting them and making sure you get some nice fresh bread food and some grains. Now tell me, you know, Chicken, fish, lobster. And I hear sometimes you play kaluki and all of yeah, them kind well, of things. The, the thing goes so far, because we're trying to be a games-oriented 
um, club okay. around here. Mm -hmm. I know we start on a Tuesday night where we have like Kaluki, mm -hmm. we have Domino, we have French, and what we do on the, at every end of the month, the last Tuesday, we find a local sponsor. The first sponsor we had was um, Fimmer Wireless. Okay. Bernard did it sponsor, and then we had Domino's who did it two weeks ago, uh -huh. and it was fantastic. You know what? The winner. It's funny, the winner of the Kaluki game gets a, like a gift voucher. Now the Domino, the guy with the Lou, the guy with the um, the Mo Six Club, he gets to sit in a pink chair for one month and he cannot play, he just has to, just keep, has score to keep score and score. learn how to play that. <laughs> Trixie, thank you for this lovely story about Barbican Beach. But you see right now, I go and finish this fish. Alright? Sitting down in my fish. Next week on My Little Food Spot. Gentlemen, I'm coming to check out the kitchen. There is some Eddie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to pour the chicken. Okay. okay. You don't pour it like this. All right. Just, just leave the soy it up. Okay. Yeah. I get that garlicky flavor coming out. Yeah. Plate now. We garnish our dish. So we're going to add a little white wine to it. Okay. <laughs> we need to leave some in the plate, right? Yeah. yeah. One more. Make four, right? Where did you put that already? I don't know. <laughs>